Jesus. Right, so we go to Molyneux today. Wolves versus Manchester United. Well, I think you can hear the crowd in the background. That's Molyneux summed up for you right there in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Um, Man either wearing that. Um, very nice looking like blue and white and red away kit. And um, new signings, Varane and Sancho start. And they start De Gea, Wambasaka, Varane, Maguire, Shaw, Fred, Fernandez, Pogba, Sancho, Daniel James, and Mason Greenwood. All starting. Greenwood starting up front. Ronaldo obviously not ready to play yet. He'll be at United after the international break. Wolves are starting. Jose Sarr, Cody Kilman, and Sice at the back. This is Ruben Neves' 10th game. He started all 10 games against Manchester United. He's playing in midfield with Moutinho. Then the wing-backs of Marcel and Semedo. And then the front three of Trincao, Traore and Jimenez. And Rafael Varane makes his debut. A 41 million signing from Real Madrid. Makes his debut for Manchester United today. Could this be Wolves' first win of the season? Right, so we've got kickoff underway in a minute. I do want Wolves to win as a Chelsea fan, obviously, but it, I this could go either way for definite. Plus, the brother supports Wolves as well. United will want to see this as a win, though, regarding Liverpool and Chelsea's draw at Anfield yesterday. And Tottenham beating Watford today 1-0. And that has put Spurs top of the league because they've had three wins in a row. It's Luke Shaw. Maguire. Manchester United has possession at the moment. And it's gone back to Luke Shaw. Trincaio's having a look at Shaw. But here come Wolves on the attack. Jimenez to Trincaio. Here's Varane. Of course, he's number 19 for United this season. Nevers. Semedo. And Jimenez puts it out. United get a throw in. Molyneux, half an hour drive from where I am now in Telford. This is right now. But it's United who have the ball. Here's Daniel James, Wambasaka. Sancho flicked it to Daniel James then, but United have given it away and Traore's on the attack. Oh, he's dispossessed both of those United players then. Baran and Maguire are the only two left, but Traore passes it to Jimenez. Oh, and De Gea saved it. But Traore's trying to win it back. And United win it back. First proper chance of the game. But no goal. Difference of the Sky Sports commentary as well. Gary Neville was on Liverpool Chelsea. Now Jamie Carragher's on Manchester United's match against Wolves. Is Marcel. 
back to Traore. Poppers all over Traore and United win it back. Greenwood's given it away. Just seeing that kind of crossing, I'm sure that Fernandez loses it. It's a corner to United. Mike Dean is the referee today. Yeah, they did win 2 1. Last time they came here, that was the last game of the season, back in May, only three months ago. But as for now, it's the start of the season and United return to Molyneux. Not a very good corner as Neves wins it for Wolves, but gives it away. But then it goes to Jimenez. Sorry, Trincayo. Jimenez is on the run, though. And he's nearly, oh, he's missed it. Wolves had another chance then. Trincayo had a shot himself to have a go, but it was blocked on the line by the United defence. What a chance by Wolves. But here comes Fernandez for United. Very lucky there. Popper gives it to Shaw. Here's Traore. Surrounded by United players there. Neves gives it away then and Pompa's got the ball. Fernandez had a go from distance, but nowhere near the target. Yeah, Fred gave it away here. This is the replay of Trincayo's chance. That's some clearance. Well, not clearance. That's some block from Wambasaka. That would have been in if he wasn't there, and it would have been 1 0 to Wolves. As new coach Bruno Larger watches on. And like like they said, the weird thing is is that Nuno Espirito Santo, on the other hand, is of course at Tottenham and they're top of the league with their three wins so far this season. Traore has another go, but it goes straight to De Gea. Of course, Traore has been linked to Tottenham, but the Wolves fans really want him to stay. Of course, he put it wide against Leicester, Traore. 
off very easily for most players. I'm a sacker here on the right. Will he give it? No, he won't give it to Daniel James on the right. That's gone straight to Jose Sa. The new keeper with Rui Patricio moving to Roma to join Jose Mourinho in Serie A. Here's Marcel. Jimenez made a mistake there and United have won it back, but Bruno Fernandes goes down as Cody protests. You know, it win a free kick though, regardless. I don't know what number Ronaldo is going to get though at United because Cavani is number seven. Fernandez takes it, but it hits the wall straight away. Daniel James and Mason Greenwood had a look then, but it went it went shot wide. He has been on Manchester United's radar, Neves, for a transfer to the Red Devils. But now it's gone to try all right. Try all right. Wambasaka's trying to get 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 it off him. He can't stop Try all right. Try all right. on the run. Here's Jimenez having a go, but it's hit the United defence once more. Started very brightly. Adama Try all right. Just try all race sorts his boots out. The atmosphere at Molyneux is wild. Tomatoes throw to Jimenez. Kilman. Sice to Marcel. Marcel tries to whip it in. Oh, and a chance for Jao Matinho. Goes right over the crossbar. Deep cross. 
Didn't think Wolves were going to have a chance then, but that pass was great. From Jimenez. And Matinho had a look, but it was an awkward angle and it went over. Easy chance after chance. Wolves have easily had the more chances so far. Pogba's in the same position as Maguire. He needs to be further up. Daniel James gives the ball away. Traore is completely surrounded and Traore is giving the ball away now. Varan to Fred to Luke Shaw as Trincaio chases the England left back. It's gone to back to Varan. Won 15 trophies with Real Madrid. An absolute legend. To the Spanish giants, just like Sergio Ramos and just like Pepe. But now Pogba tries to switch the play and whips it towards Luke Shaw. And Jose Sarr kicks it out. It's a United throw. Maguire. Varan. Ran and Fred are trying to keep hold of possession here. No, no, sixteen minutes. Oh, that's gutting. Well, Greenwood's on the run. Wolves been better side for me so far. Tino should have made it 1 0. Hit it over. Trincayo had a chance, but it went. Wambasaka cleared it brilliantly. Wolves easily shot, had more shots than United have. Sancho's hardly touched the ball. And there is Wolves' new sign-in, Juan He Chan. And he's joined them on loan from RB Leipzig. I think Semedo's going to take this throw. Neves goes, no, Jimenez, sorry, goes down. Yeah, 
Well, Jimenez went down and United fouled him. So Wolves get the free kick. It's between Trincaio and Matinho on who's going to take it. Matinho is going to take it. This went straight to United, to Bruno Fernandes. Marcel to Semedo. Bit too much on that, though. Yeah, Bruno Larger was pointed Wolves coach on June the 9th after, at the end of the last season, Nuno Espirito Santo said he was departing the club. Only to find out a few months later that he was, uh, a couple of months later, that he was joining Tottenham. And Tottenham are top of the league. Three wins out of three, beat Watford today. Here's Wamba Saka and Daniel James. Sice wins the ball. Here's Trincayo. As Luke Shaw tries to bring him down as Wolves fans urge for a free kick. I mean, Luke Shaw's quick himself. When we talk about Adama Traore being quick, he's also quick. Trincaio is also very quick, as we see here. Fred couldn't um, take him on, but Luke Shaw did, and that is a foul. And it is another free kick to Wolves. Of course, Trincaio signed for Wolves from Barcelona, just as what Nelson Semedo did last season to replace Matt Doherty who is now reunited with Nuno Espirito Santo at Spurs. Marcel has gone straight to wan and Pogba. Now Marcel on the left passes it back to Jean Matinho. So you look at that. United may have had a more possession, but Wolves more on target than United are. But United have had four shots themselves. That's right, I was giving it to Marcel. Cannot whip it in, but Wolves win a corner. Neves to Trincao. Neves tries to whip it in. Another chance for Wolves. Maybe trying to glance it in. Yeah, no, 
was thinking he's just offside anyway. Halfway through the first half. Slower tempo for Manchester United. Rick Shaw, now by Nelson Samoda. Keeps going through Cow into Jimenez. Wolves on the attack again. Traore's cross goes straight to Maguire. But it is a corner to Wolves. Tomato goes down. There's another free kick from Moutinho. Neves whips it to Jimenez and has a go. Oh, and it's a missed chance again. Should have been 1 0. But it's offside. So it wouldn't have counted anyway. But chance after chance from Wolves so far this first half. Just Marcel all over Sancho and Pogba gives it away. Here's Traore. Asked a bit too much. Is the run the right hand side or directly through the middle in the right wing back as well? Lanches advanced him from the left, certainly exploiting this particular role. It's Maguire. Maguire whips it to Luke Shaw just as it had been done throughout Euro 2020. He's gone to Fred. Bruno 
Bruno Fernandes switches it to the far right to Daniel James. Well, you know, it got themselves a corner. Clearance from Roman Saiz. Greenwood's corner. I haven't quite got rid of it yet because Pogba tries to whip it back in. So does Luke Shaw, but it's gone straight to Jose Sarr and Wolves are on the break. Trinkai, I think I think one of those front three will be subbed off in the second half, depending on what happened, because Daniel Pedenz is back from injury. Pedro Neto isn't yet. He's still injured. Fernandez went down after contact with Neves. Okay. Nanan's asked if she wants to come with you. Yeah, I'll stay here, my love. You can come if you want, but I'll have you want to come. Okay. You want to come? Come now. Tactical break here. You're going to stay here. You're going to stay here. Oh, you're going with Mum. Okay. I'm going to talk about. Drinks break 30 minutes in. For me, Wolves have been the better team so far. The Portuguese representation here at Molyneux is ginormous. Alex Ferguson's there watching as well. Of course, he signed Cristiano Ronaldo in 2003 and won eight major trophies together. Wonder what impact CR7 will make after the international break when he fully joins Manchester United. And will he take that number seven shirt off Edison Cavani? I don't think he will. But we'll see what happens. So, yeah, we just had the drinks break. It's extraordinary with Lukaku going back to Chelsea, Ronaldo going back to Manchester United, Varane joins Manchester United, Sancho joins Manchester United, Grealish joins Manchester City. Been an extraordinary trans extra extraordinary transfer window. Kane staying at Tottenham. As Jimenez tries to place it onto Traore, but it goes straight to David De Gea. Maguire, Varane, Wambasaka, Fernandez, Pogba. Pogba tries to whip it to the left, but it's been given away and Wolves win back the ball. Although Jose Sa's clearance goes straight to Rafael Varane. United felt they underachieved at Southampton last week with the one all draw. Which is why they'll be desperate to go back to winning ways today. But Wolves want to go for their first win of the season. They've lost two in a row, but quite unlucky as well because they played well against both Leicester and Tottenham, I thought. Triore, of course, missed a sitter against Leicester. And the got the score the goal score against the score against Tottenham was decided for a Deli Alley penalty. For sure. 
Just gone 33 minutes and it's still nil-nil. One of the United players goes down as Wolves play on. The referee plays on. Trincayo wins it off Fernandez. Matinho. Cody. Nevers. Semedo once again on the right, taking on Jaden Sancho. United's new signing from Borussia Dortmund, ex Manchester City Academy player. Jean Matinho. Marcel, the Brazilian on the left, gives it to Traore, who's trying to take on Rafael Varan. But Varan's cleared it, but it's a United, it's a Wolves corner. Varan gives Wambasaka the high five. It's a corner to Wolves. And it is going to be Trincayo, the signing from Barcelona, who takes it. And once again, it goes out of the box from Harry Maguire as Wolves take a quick throw in. Here's Matinho, Marcel, Traore, Semedo, Neves, Jimenez. It's gone to Wambasaka. Pass too many from Wolves. They are on the front foot, Wolves. For me, the better team, the more attacking team so far. He looks heavily frustrated so far, Jaden Sancho. I'm pretty sure most United fans will be frustrated so far as well. They want to be in a title chase with the likes of Chelsea, Manchester City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Leicester. United need to do something, but not if Wolves say something about it. Pogba slips. But Neves also gives the ball away. Fred. Greenwood. As Sice tries to win it off. United's throwing. Luke Shaw's throwing. Wambasaka, Traore has a look at him, but it is one back from Wolves from Marcel, but he gets tackled behind, but United win the ball back anyway, here's Fred, Pogba, Marcel, Matinho, Trincao, Roman Sice, 10 minutes to go to the end of the first half and stoppage time. Marcel tries to whip it in, but it goes straight to David De Gea. He was looking for Raul Jimenez there to get a header in and make it 1-0 to Wolves, but unfortunately goes straight to David De Gea's clutches. The man who has been at Manchester United for a decade now. A club legend for the Red Devils. Hasn't won as much as the likes of Peter Schmeichel or Edwin van der, Star, van der Sar, but he's still a club legend for Manchester United, no matter what. Pogba wins it as Fernandez is clear and United are 1-0 up. But it's offside. I knew it was offside, but they are checking it, VAR. Mike Dean, of course, is in charge. To me, that was offside. Juan Masaka to Pogba. That looked offside to me. Fernandez was on his own. I think that's offside, to be honest. 
But they are checking it with VAR. If he marched, and it is offside, there's no VAR tick. I knew it was offside. I knew Fernandez was offside. From the moment Pogba whipped the ball into Fernandez, who was on his own in front of the Wolves players, I knew he was um he was offside. Jimenez. United take the free kick quickly. If Fernandez wasn't so far ahead, that goal would have stood and it would have been 1 0 to Manchester United. But I knew it was offside from the moment Pogba passed the ball to Bruno. Pogba goes down, speaking of which, as Traore wins it from Manchester United and tries to take on Rafael Varane, but switches it right to Jimenez, back to Traore. Has a go, but it's deflected, blocked from the United defence. And here's Bruno Fernandes. Wamba Saka. Maguire. Luke Shaw. And United win it back as one of the Wolves players goes down. It's Zeiss. It's Roman Zeiss, the number 27. But here's number five for Wolves, Marcel. Neves. Semedo. Same players pretty much, but the definitely changing philosophy for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Giamatinho. Giamatinho. Neves. Semedo. Trincao. Now Luke Shaw. Maguire. Pogba. Shaw. Greenwood, excuse me. Wamasaka. Fernandez loses it to Marcel. Jimenez. Neves. Tomato. Ruben Neves has a shot, but it goes off target on the far left side. Nearly the end of the first half. One Massacre to Greenwood. Here's Pogba. Bruno Fernandes, Daniel James. Fernandes booed by the Wolves supporters. Jimenez goes down. And Mike Dean's going to give a free kick to Wolves. Oh, 
It was Rafael Varane on the challenge on Jimenez. Bruno Fernandes has been booked, meanwhile. I don't know why, but I think it was clear frustration towards the referee as I heard the Wolves fans cheer, but it's a yellow card for Bruno Fernandes. As Michael Carrick, Solskjaer's assistant, talks to Oli about United's tactics as Maguire tries to reason with Mike Dean. Fred. Sure. sure. United on the breakthrough here. And it's fired wide by Mason Greenwood. United's best chance of the game so far. So as it stands towards the end of the first half, Wolves have had nine attempts, Manchester United have five, but Wolves have three on target and Manchester United have none. One minute of stoppage time before half time. United are fortunate the Wolves aren't even leading here at the moment. For me, the better team so far this match, Wolves. Fred. Straight to De Gea and Varane. It's half time. Goalless. Pacey as you expect from Adama Traore. Fernandez is frustrated with the referee, and he could be into further trouble here. It's half time, and it's goalless as it stands here at Molyneux. Nil nil. Wolves nil. Manchester United nil. That was a very interesting first half. The Wolves, to me, should have been in front. So, yeah, interesting. Right, I need a loo break. I'll be right back. Well now, I think I've finally discovered the secret of why you're such a popular little tenor. <laughs> it's the £250 free excess cover. <laughs> Go compare, I've given back over a million pounds to drivers who claim their excess back. What do you say to that? Go compare, go compare. A million quid? What's not to learn? At Argos, be ready for the bank holiday with our great range of deals. Save up to £80 on these Garmin Vivo Active 4 smartwatches, now £199.99. And save up to 20% on sanded night beds and mattresses. Plus, get our lowest price on this Indesit 7kg washing machine, now £179.99. 
by today and spread the cost of the other stuff. August. Life's here. Be ready. Mel is a warrior, especially about bills. But look, car's in for a service and she's more laid back than a sloth in a deck chair. See, Mel bought her car from Cinch. Cinch? Cinch. Buy online direct from Cinch and you can get Cinch Care. Servicing, lifetime warranty and breakdown assistance for less than £35 a month. You covered. I'm like Mel. Well set and you go. Burnt orange, you're in the driving seat now, Bren. Luxurious Aston Martin DBX in the OA's million pound house draw. This Aston Martin DBX delivers breathtaking performance. The best part? You'll be supporting the NSPCC and Childline. So give your chance to win this Aston Martin DBX and our grand prize, a house in North Devon worth over three million pounds. You must enter by Bank Holiday Monday at OA's.co.uk. The Sainsbury's quality you expect is now price matched to Aldi. Try 10 the lamp chops for just £3.49, with fresh kale only 63p. Find hundreds of Sainsbury's products now price matched to Aldi. Don't wear it, sell it on vintage. You can earn some extra cash by selling your pretty loved things. With the vintage app, great clothes get a second life. Sell what you don't wear anymore and make someone else happy. Just snatch, upload your items, set your price and sell without fear so you keep everything you make. Then pack it up and send it. Simple. Download the Vinted app today. Rono e Tech, reuniting fans with the prominent of Sky Sports. <laughs> Sure, Neil Mills. Uh, get much better, more exciting than this. Lighting quick start from Wolves, thanks to this man, the most exciting man to play in that shirt since Robbie Keane. Uh, is it this is a great question that United can't handle it, Robbie? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, this, this pace here is just, just incredible. He spoke about it before again. Obviously, what lets him down is his, is his end product. Um, maybe him and his probably should have squared that one in the course the goalkeeper. Uh, but uh, Torre is absolutely killing him. So. I am wearing a Wolves shirt. I know this is a bit weird for me because I am a Chelsea fan, but obviously my brother is at the Wolves Academy. Uh, go and follow him on Instagram. It's JJ Footy Ten, and uh, that's that's why I got a Wolves shirt on. So yeah, they are my second favourite team in the Premier League. They're also a very exciting team to watch as well. Anyway, let's have a look at this. That was a poor touch from Fred. This is Trincao's chance in the sixth minute. That was amazingly blocked by Wamba Saka. What's been Manchester United's biggest problem, Roy, do you think? Do you know what? Is it, I don't know, you know, is it they're just dependent on their talent alone? You know, we saw a chat to agree with later on. Is it they just think that's enough to get through a game? They look as if they've had a European game. They've been away in Russia somewhere. They got back late early towards the morning and they can't get going. This is the chance. They can still produce opportunities, of course. And we think the keeper gets a touch on this. So United still have that. Yeah, no, I was wearing a Formula One shirt because... Uh... 
was meant to be watching that earlier, but it got delayed because of the really poor weather in Spa in Belgium at the moment. So, yeah. So, I want to look at the the results from every single match so far this season. Um, no, this um, this this weekend from game week three, apart from apart from apart from um, this match, of course. As Wolves are dominant but cannot find the breakthrough, we had Manchester City five, Arsenal nil, disastrous defeat for Arsenal, and they're bottom of the league. Aston Villa one, Brentford one. Brighton nil, Everton two, Newcastle two, Southampton two, Norwich one, Leicester two, West Ham two, Crystal Palace two, Liverpool one, Chelsea one, and today we had Burnley one, Leeds one, and Tottenham one, Watford nil. And Spurs are the only team so far with three wins out of three, and they will be the only team with three wins out of three because Wolves and Manchester United are both not able, both not able to have three wins out of three. And that will be Tottenham top of the league after this weekend. Two points ahead of West Ham, Chelsea, Liverpool and Everton all on seven points. But yeah, my man of the match. My man of the match was, uh, so far, was the Dharma Triora. He's created the most chances. He's been brilliant. And yeah, that is my man of the match so far. And what I don't get is that there's fans across the entire Premier League fan base that call him one of the most overrated players in the world. And I totally disagree with that. I think he's a really good player, personally. So yeah, that's what I think. So of course, um, it's going to be a very intense second half. And the Wolves fan himself, Joe, the brother, who obviously watched the Liverpool-Chelsea live stream with me yesterday will be joining me because he's come back from his he's going to be coming back from his academy match he's had um today to go to against Tottenham so I'll find out how he's done on that as well of course but yeah the second half will be back on soon Welcome to Eon Next, where the electricity you use can have a positive impact on climate change. Because at Eon Next, 100% renewable electricity comes as standard at no extra cost, making it easier for everyone to do their bit. So we can all look forward to more positive energy. Sometimes you just had to be there. Thanks to Kate's comprehensive car insurance, we were. Oh, hi. Getting you safely home after an accident. It takes a lever. Get a quote today. Let's see who got on the score sheets then. So for Man City Arsenal, obviously Granit Xhaka got sent off. Cedric and Kalasinac both got yellows, as did Rodri. But Rodri was also on the goal on the scoring sheet. As was Ilkay Gundawan, Gabriel Jesus, and two, a double from Ferran Torres. Jesus, Grealish, Torres, and Mares also got assists. And the referee was Martin Atkinson. For Villa Brentford, Ivan Tony took the lead for the Bees with an assist from Pontus Janssen, only for Emmy Buendia to equalise with Danny Ings getting the assist for that. Ings also was on the book, as was Tony. Cash, El Ghazi, Norgard and Janelt also joined on the yellow card um, list. And the referee was Peter Banks. 
Brighton Everton. Brilliant away win for Everton. I had Brighton to win this as well because they've looked impressive so far this season. Damari Gray taking the lead and Dominic Calvert Lewin scoring from the penalty spots to make it 2 0 to Everton. Basuma, Richarlison, and Pickford also all got on the book. Sorry, all got on the book. Alan assisted Damari Gray for the first goal. The referee for Brighton Everton was um, John Moss. Newcastle Southampton. I had this down as a goal fest, but it ended 2 all. Not quite the goal fest I was hoping for, but anyway. Callum Wilson gave Newcastle the lead with um, El Yanusi equalising for Southampton. And then Alan Sant Maximan making it 2 1 at stoppage time, for, only for Ward Prowse to get a penalty right at the end of the game. Fabian Cher, San Maximan, Lascelles, Ward Prowse, Gineppo, and Walker Peters all got on the book. Assists coming from Jacob Murphy for Callum Wilson's goal for the first goal for Newcastle, and Paul Tierney was the referee. Norwich Leicester, Vardy took the lead, which Pereira assisted, only for Puki to score a penalty, and then. Vardy assisting Albrighton for the winner for Leicester. Albrighton, Cantwell and Lees Mellu all got on the book as Robert Jones was the referee. West Ham, Crystal Palace. Four nows. Four nows gave, um, gave the lead for West Ham. Only for Gallagher to equalise and Antonio to take the lead and Gallagher to equalise again. Connor Gallagher... Scored both of the goals for Crystal Palace. Declan Rice got a yellow for West Ham. Assists coming from Benteke for Gallagher's first. And Antonio's for four Nows' um, goal. Stuart Atwell was the referee. Well, we know what happened with Liverpool-Chelsea um, from the live stream yesterday, the watch-along. Reese James obviously got sent off, which I thought was a ridiculous decision, but it is what it is. As At the end of the day, as a Chelsea fan, I'd take a point at Anfield because that was such a tough game to go to. Havertz took the lead with a brilliant header for Chelsea, only for Salah to equalise on the penalty spot. Rudiger and Mendy both got yellow cards. Reese James assisted Kai Havertz for the first for Chelsea's goal, and Anthony Taylor was the referee. Burnley and Leeds drew 1-0 at Turf Moor today, with Chris Wood taking the lead, only for Patrick Bamford to equalise. Lowton assisted... Um, Chris Wood, Brownhill, Ashley Barnes, Ben Mee and Aaron Lennon all getting yellow cards, as does Rodrigo, Phillips and Strauch. Matthew Lowton assisted Chris Wood. And as for Tottenham Watford, it was once again Son who got on the score, sh on the score sheet. Kane, Ali and Skip got booked, as did Itobo, Emmanuel Dennis and Musa Sissoko, who has joined... Um, no, sorry, um... Musa Sissoko also got on the book. And Musa Sissoko's joined Watford from Tottenham. And uh, yeah, the referee was Andre Mariner as we go back underway for the second half here at Molyneux for Wolves versus Manchester United. The referee here, of course, is Mike Dean. As one of the United players already goes down. Bruno Fernandes yet again has gone down. And Neves does see Fernandes coming as well. Manchester United haven't kept a clean sheet in the last 10 games in all competitions. Tut, tut, tut. So here's the teams. Jose Sarr in goal. Kilman, Cody and Sice. Wolves is free at the back. Then Semedo and Marcel, the wing-backs, with Neves and Matinho in midfield. And then Trincao, Traore and Jimenez up front. De Gea in goal for Man United. With a back four of Wambasaka, Shaw, Maguire and Baran, Fernandez, Fred and Pogba in the midfield with Fernandez being booked. 
Daniel James, Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood up front for Manchester United. Trincao chases down Luke Shaw. Here's Sancho. Now Shaw. Back to Sancho. Pressured by Kilman. Luke Shaw is about to take the corner. Wolves try to clear it. Neves tries to win the ball off Pogba. It's Portugal versus France. And it's Pogba's shot has gone straight to Jose Sarr. Marcel. Here's Traore. He's looking for Traore. Flag was up anyway, though. Here's Pogba. Fred. Maguire. Luke Shaw, chased down by Nelson Semedo, but it's gone back to Maguire. Varane. And I believe that was out from um, Daniel James then. And it was. Wolves have a throw in. But Traore loses it to Daniel James. Pogba switches it to Luke Shaw on the left. Jimenez gives it away. But Wolves win it back. Jimenez is brought down by Harry Maguire, but Mike Dean says play on. Here's Sancho. Pogba, Wambasaka, switching it to the far right for Daniel James. Marcel tries to take on Daniel James and he tries to win it off him. <clears throat> and Wolves do win it from Daniel James. Adama Traore and Marcel together. But it's gone back to Maguire. Sure. But Wolves win it back. Here's Trincao. Matinho. Sorry, Nevers. Trincao. Nelson Semedo. Nelson Semedo, that was expansive from Jean Martinho. There's Marcel. Nevers. Kilman joining Trincao here. Trincao takes him on! Is it going to be a no? It's a block. And what a block by Rafael Varane. Another chance for Wolves, but that was a brilliant block by the France International. The new signing from Real Madrid. Wolves do win a corner, though. Trincao goes past Harry Maguire, but that was brilliantly blocked there by Varane. It's a corner to Wolves. And it is, of course, Jao Martinho who's going to take it. Martinho to take the 
Jimenez looked for it then, but Pogba won it. Sorry, wan Saka won it. Fernandez trying to break through for United. Here's Greenwood. Dropped a bit deep there. He needs to be a bit further up front. But he has won it. And Sancho passes it. Pogba. Ram. Fred. Pogba. <clears throat> Pogba switches it to Daniel James. No, sorry, Jaden Sancho on the right as Marcel tries to intercept. But Wolves do intercept regardless. Here's Matinho. Back to Pogba. Here is Daniel James. Now he's switched to the left. Wolves clear it through Roman Sice as United are about to take a throw in. But the referee, um, the whistle blows because Edison Cavani is about to come on. Here is the number seven, the current number seven for Manchester United, Edison Cavani, as Daniel James makes way for the Uruguay international, the Paris Saint-Germain legend. Will he keep that number seven, though, for the rest of the season, though, with the arrival of a certain Cristiano Ronaldo? Luke Shaw loses it. Edison Cavani has had more goals by substitutes throughout most of last season. Five for Edison Cavani, ahead of Diogo Jota for Liverpool, the ex-Wolves player, and Rodrigo for Leeds, both on four. Traore tried to win it then, but it's gone straight to wan -Bissaka. Martial, of course, played up front against Southampton, but he's not playing today. Solskjaer's dropped him for the match here today against Wolves. Pogba. Looks a bit deep, Paul Pogba does. He's had five assists already this season. One of them being against, South against Southampton, of course, as Traore goes down. Pogba protests. Fernandez protests. But Pogba was in a class of his own, of course, in Manchester United's opening game against Leeds at Old Trafford. Traore did go down there. And Pogba and Fernandez looked furious. Didn't quite go anywhere there. Bruno Lars' side is still looking for a goal for Wolves. Not just this game, but this season so far. In its early days, of course. Varane. Kilman. Smedo. Trincao. Kilman. 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 Kilman.
Calls Neto's out with a fractured kneecap. He will return soon, though, for the Molyneux faithful. Neves tried to whip it towards Marcel, but Marcel does win it back off Manchester United here. Traore, Pogba's all over Traore. And it's offside. And United take the quick, quick free kick. Wambasaka. Pogba whips it into Bruno Fernandes, who thought he had it clear then. But Sancho has a go. Sorry, not Sancho. Fred had a go. But it's gone straight to Jose Sarr. I think that's the best Pogba's done so far this game, whipping it into Fernandes there. Fernandez was clear, but it was clear frustration there. But Fred had a go, but the game it went straight to Jose Sarr. Maguire. Here he goes again, Paul Pogba. Here's Fernandez. Luke Shaw. Here's Fred. Here is Jaden Sancho. But it's gone straight to Trincao. Neves. Sice. Here's Marcel. Jimenez. Kilman. Trincao to Semedo. To Traore and back to Semedo. Wolves trying to keep hold of the ball. Nearly 60 minutes into this game. 30 minutes to go nearly in stoppage time. Smado. Triore tries to take on Fred. It goes to Jimenez, but it's not quite. Jimenez doesn't look too pleased with that because he thought it was a corner to Wolves. But he's been given as a goal kick to Manchester United. Maguire. Pogba's giving it to Semedo, and here is Trincao on the run. 
Adama Traore for Wolves. And he's giving it away back to Pogba. Sancho. Fernandez. Fernandez whips it left to Pogba. Pogba goes down. Wolves win it back. Martinho. And it's gone to Traore, who's trying to have a go here. Here's Trincao. And not quite. Another missed opportunity for Wolves. Sums up their game so far. Created the majority of the chances here this game. And it's another miss for Wolves. So many problems for Manchester United in their defence during this game. Chayore passed it to Trincao. Trincao had a go, but still no way through for Wolves. A relief for David De Gea. Mason Greenwood goes down. And Mike Dean reckons that he's just seen a collision that, um, that's involved Mason Greenwood as Edison Cavani brings Greenwood up. There it is. Jimenez. <clears throat> João Martinho. Traore couldn't quite get the first touch and United win it back through Pogba. Oh, and Fernandez is clear here. Mason Greenwood, sorry. But not quite. It goes to Jose Sa. Wrong decision there from Mason Greenwood. That was Pogba again showing his best. Here's Semedo. Now, trying to find Trincao on the right there, but it goes to Maguire. Trincao's going to try and win it off Harry Maguire. But he doesn't. And it goes to Varane and Pogba, the two French internationals. Now the English international, Luke Shaw. To the Portuguese international, Bruno Fernandes, against the team that's full of Portuguese players. Here is Luke Shaw. Marcel clears it, but it's a corner to Manchester United. Luke Shaw tried to find Edison Cavani. But Marcel didn't know what was behind him and he felt he did the right thing. And I thought he did the right thing as well. It's a corner to the Red Devils. Not the best of corners. Trincao tries to play it to Jimenez. Oh, and Trincao nearly... Um, Lost it then to Pogba. Now Wambasaka suddenly on the left for some reason. Pogba passes it to Fernandez. Fernandez whips it towards Cavani. But again, a defender for Wolves clears it. This time Nelson Semedo. Not this time, not the left wing back, this time the right wing back. But it's another corner to Manchester United. Nearly 66 minutes into the game. Just a reference to England's fantastic test match win. Uh, 
it's Luke Shaw's corner. Luke Shaw taking the corner. And Maguire goes down, but United lose play here to Wolves. Luke Shaw wins it back. Now Marcel. Who's found Adama Traore. He's surrounded by Fred and Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw brings him down. Traore's been roared on here at Molyneux. Corner to Wolves, blocked by Luke Shaw. Wolves corner and Matinho is going to take it. Matinho puts it in. Oh! Oh! How did Wolves miss that? That was a clear moment. How did Wolves miss that? De Gea manages to keep it out. Oh, and um, they've given the ball away here, Wolves. Manchester United look to counter attack now. Here's Fernandez, who's played it to Sancho. But Fernandez was offside. A relief there for David De Gea and Manchester United. That was so close to make it 1 0 to Wolves. It was Saiz who nearly made it 1 0 to Wolves. I can't believe he's missed. I cannot believe Roman Saiz missed at all. How are Wolves not in front? I don't know. On comes Daniel Pedence. Off comes Trincao. Matinho. Here's Pedence. Crossfield ball to Traore, who tries to take on Fred. Here's Neves, who has a shot, and De Gea gets the clutches again. Wolves really looking for a 1 0 lead here. Right foot from Ruben Neves, straight to David De Gea's clutches. Just shows how superior Wolves have been to Manchester United so far this game. Look at that, 14 attempts for Wolves compared to the Red Devils is seven. And six on target compared to one for Manchester United. Wolves have easily been the better team so far today. They deserve to be 1-0 up. And they both chances denied then by David De Gea. Fred. Maguire. Pogba, Varane, Maguire, Maguire crosses it to Luke Shaw who cannot keep hold of it, 20, just under 20 minutes to go, 
And Jaden Sancho is about to come off and on comes Anthony Martial. Been a very disappointing match, I'd say, for Jaden Sancho. He's hardly touched the ball, I'd say, today. And off he goes and on comes Martial. United trying to hang on for their life here to get a point at least. And here's another replay of Sice nearly making it 1-0 to Wolves. An unbelievable miss. Another unbelievable miss from Wolves. Fred tries to find Fernandez, but and then Fernandez tries to find Greenwood, but it goes straight to Jose Sarr. Marcel. Jimenez. Trying to find Nelson Semedo. Nelson Semedo does keep hold of it. He's surrounded by Luke Shaw. Traore. Jean Matinho. Back to Adama Traore. Semedo tries to dummy it, but it's gone straight to Manchester United. And here is Greenwood. Cody trying to take him on. Oh, nearly a shirt pull there from Connor Cody. But Wolves clear it, and it is a corner to United. Corner for United, and once again, Luke Shaw is going to take it. Shaw taking the corner. Wolves try their best to clear it. Green words. Turned over by Jose Sarr from Pogba. Gone straight to Jose Sarr. That was a great kick. De Gea comes out to prevent Wolves and Daniel Pedence going on the attack there. Inside the last 15 minutes. Wambasaka wins it off Pedence. Varane. David De Gea. As the Wolves fans try to put him off in the background there. Pogba. Luke Shaw. Martial. Martial finds Luke Shaw on the left, but Luke Shaw surrounded by Nelson Semedo. Pogba. 
Wan Bissaka. Fernandez, Cavani, back to Bruno. Maguire, Luke Shaw, Martial. Martial tries to find Cavani, but it goes straight to Wolves. And here's Neves. And now Traore is trying to once again go on the run. But once again, Luke Shaw is in front of him. I'm sure that I swear that's a foul. Not quite. I thought that was a foul then from Manchester United. But the referee says play on. Wambasaka. Pogba. Maguire. Pogba, Varane, Maguire, Semedo gets it to Traore. Watch number 37 go, and he's been brought down by Pogba, but the, Mike Dean says play on. Bruno Fernandes whips it to Cavani, but Jose Sarr headers it out to clear it out. Hi, Boris. That's my dog. <laughs> if they score Wolves, it would be what a way to start their accounts for this season before the international break. And it's a throw for Nelson Semedo. Maguire, Pogba, surrounded by Neves. Here's Juan Basaka, who's got plenty of space here. Greenwood to Bruno Fernandes, who misses. Here's Martial. Fred, Fernandes, Pogba loses the ball, but United win it again with Varane. Neves has gone down. And the ball's gone in. It's 1-0 to Manchester United and it is Mason Greenwood who delivers. And Manchester United have taken the lead. Jao Moutinho is absolutely furious, as is Marcel. Because Ruben Neves went down when that, when that goal was scored. Let's have a look. Neves gets there, but see his reaction. And he did win the ball. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I agree. That isn't a foul. But Mason Greenwood has given Manchester United the lead. And this will be really, really frustrating for Wolves because they have been the better side all game. And Ruben Neves is absolutely seething and he's been booked. He is absolutely furious, Ruben Neves, with Paul Pogba and Mike Dean. Yeah, pretty much that. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said the other week that football was becoming more like rugby these days, but now he's happy that United didn't get the decision go against them then. And Mason Greenwood delivers 1-0 to Manchester United. That is a pain in the arse for Wolves. 
they've been the better team this game and they thoroughly deserve the win today. This will be a lucky win for Manchester United if they hold on to this. This once again shows that Wolves have not been clinical enough and Neves is still furious with that incident. Greenwood just got on with it. Oh, and Pogba goes down, and the Wolves players are protesting. Matinho's protesting. A completely undeserved lead. Yo, Greenwood, Sice Mr. Sitter, Sice should have hit, but Traore's Mr. Sitter, Sice should have put it in, and De Gea saved it brilliantly. They've been by far the better team. Hi, George. Oh, are you live? Yes. Who assisted? Who assisted the goal? No one, but Matinho, Neves and Matinho protested to the rep to Mike Dean on Greenwood's goal. Wait, no, who assisted Greenwood's goal? I think it was Fernandez. No! <laughs> Fernan Fernandez nearly got sent off. Oh, come on, give Pop the man of the match. Get my fantasy team up. Has Varane been good? It's been all right. Sancho's been awful. He's been taken off. He's been decent. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Sancho, he's been poor for United today. Hardly touched the ball. Wait, I got some points with Song because he scored earlier. Oh, Fred got booked as well. Man, 60. Make room for George to sit there, boys. Oh, He's been brilliant today, Samino. Wait, A hurricane. Oh dear. Louisa, I was going to say, I don't know it's not a hurricane. Please. He should have scored, Trial Ray. Miss Fabio Silva. <laughs> And Morgan Gibbs White. That's all right. You still can get on with uh, United win, which they... I'm 30th in the Oh, I was 27th. Don't go keep my name. I literally put 316 over. There's two 316. Jimenez tries to find Semedo. Blocked by Luke Shaw. Four minutes and stoppage time. Who's this? FA ten. The formation. The Cody's coming off for Gibbs White. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Why is he taking Traore off? He has been the best player the whole game. I don't know why. I don't know why. I would have taken Jimenez off. He hasn't played that well. I prefer the black one though. You prefer the white one? The white one's sick. So Villa's away kit. Villa's away kit's really nice as well. So's their away kit, not gonna lie. The only thing I don't like about their away kit is their blue shorts. Greenwood goes down. Play well, they've been the better team by far. Ooh. Wolves. United do not deserve this win at all if it stays like this. They just, they, they're not, they need to be clinical. No. I don't think he'll... I don't even think, weirdly enough, he used to play for United. He used to play for United, weird enough. Lukaku. Two seasons. He should have stayed at Everton. He was at West Brom. Yeah, he was. He did really well at West yeah, Brom. That's when he got like, Greenwood's coming off. That's the decision that Neves got furious at. That led to Greenwood's goal. No, no assist. It was by himself. Jose Sarr, I think, should have done better. The lot's coming on. Well, it's going to be very unlikely what number Cristiano Ronaldo really is going to be for Manchester United because Cavani has come on today. Imagine, imagine, imagine him being number 37, the same as Trial, right? He can't be 17. He used to be 17 for Portugal when Figo was there. Oh, no, you get number seven next season, definitely. Five minutes of added time. Can Wolves get a deserved equaliser? I agree with that. PSG. I want one of mine. He made it's some it's save when Sai should have made it 1 0. I want Varan, don't think any of the United players deserve man of the match anyway. Man of the match should be try all right, in my opinion. Imagine it's Hoover. Hoover's not even playing. He scored like two goals. Gibbs White booked for shirt pulling Luke Shaw. Luke, Luke Shaw, I can't even lie, he looks fat. He looks like Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Luke Shaw. <laughs> Vincent Company's statue at Man City looks like Wayne Rooney. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lord, if you want to sit down, you want to sit down in that space? Oh, God. Joe, I don't think your mum will let you sit on the arm of the chair. She told me off. Oh, we're going upstairs in the middle. She told me off. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Where do you want to, you want to sit down? No, go ahead, go ahead. Off there, please. This is a very expensive couch. Off there, please. Good. Squeeze up. It's big enough to walk you. Just get rid of some cushions. George, officially on Jack's YouTube live stream. <laughs> No, you're part of the gang. Pumpers.com. Never has a very young black pitch. It's got like white, normal white ones. Deluxe been booked. Already. Just came on. Thought there was some hugging and kissing going on there between the Wolves and the Arty players. Pump has been booked. Imagine if this was a fight as well, like yesterday. Hey, I forgot to tell you, Pedence is back. It's been good. Looks like. He hasn't been that bad. See, I don't know why he took off Traore. I would have taken off him and as I don't think he's played that well. Traore's been fantastic. The annoying today. thing is that you know Cast like it says Castore on the yeah. left side. We're gonna have to cut like we can't cut like the letters off. So it's gonna be like quite far down. I don't like it far down. So like I think that was time wasting there personally. <laughs> No, I'd be awful. Don't put me. I'd be worse than blooming Anthony Taylor yesterday. Yeah. I don't even think Sancho's been that good for my review this year. And so far. Right. De Gea's going to kick it out. Down goes Sice as Fernandez watches on. He got booked in the first half for frustrations and nearly got red at the end of the first half for more frustrations. Slap him. Oh, body! Max Kilman, mate. Kilman's shoulder barred is Cavani. I swear he was number 49. Who? Kilman? Yeah. Probably was. He was. Oh, I just sent him to the shop. Kilman. Tino trying to win it off Martial. He was going to die though, get a pen. Yeah, same. Man, you've got some good tonight, you think, because you're funny to know. Especially Ronaldo, Rio, Maguire. He smashes the camera. Really decent I, I was going to say, I swear he's always been decent in pens. Oh! 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 No, wait, no, I've got Hoover. They look the same. They look similar. I you, you went to my change team, my though. fantasy team for after the international yeah, break. Oh, yeah. If you've got Martinez, you have to get him out. You'll have to self isolate after he comes out. 
Martinez? I think so. He's been tested positive. I'm, I'm oh, when, boy. There's a Ronaldo. <laughs> And so will Wendy as well. Yeah, because we're going to Arjun, a very high like yeah. risk. Yeah. All oh, right. Booze from the Wolves fans. Ends one nil to the Red Devils thanks to Greenwood. I want to see the table now after three games after August. I know Arsenal are bottom, that's for sure. Shambles. Need to be more clinical. Wolves. But out of the two teams that haven't scored, <laughs> out of the two teams that haven't even scored yet this season, Wolves have certainly played a lot, lot better than Arsenal have. That's for sure. Wait, I want fifty-three points. Drop. Bruno Mars has got work to do. Nevers. Yeah, no, having I a word with Mike Dean. He's like 24% popular. Who? 24% is like, it's like, like only, only three. Yeah, he selected in a quarter of everyone's things. Yeah, 25%. Because he's, he's so from the GK. And he's like, I haven't done this. He's class. I wouldn't do that. Away or home? Away. Oh, that won't be easy. I think you'll win. Villa have got Chelsea. Yeah, they have. Oh, you're a Villa fan, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a Villa fan. Bring it on, my boy. Bring it on. I, I said to my mate earlier this morning, I said I'm not ruling it out because Villa are a good side at the moment. I'm not ruling out. So they got a point against us last season at the bridge. I remember uh, you were that Pelvey in the last minute. Yeah. All right, come on. I want to see the table. Oh, maybe the scores first then. So I know Tottenham are top because they've won three out of three. Leeds drawing one all at Turf Moor today. Tottenham beating Watford one nil. Oh yeah, thanks. Did they get third over us straight away? Oh, interesting. So there we go, United move up to third, ahead of Chelsea and Liverpool, behind Tottenham and West Ham, Everton sixth, Man City seventh, and then Brighton, Leicester and Brentford wrapping up the top ten. Wolves, Norwich and Arsenal, the bottom three, with Newcastle 17th ahead of Burnley, no, behind Burnley 16th, Leeds 15th, Villa 11th, Watford 12th, Southampton 13th and Palace 14th, and that will all suddenly change after the international break. So yeah, early days still, of course. And that is the end of the stream. I'll see you in soon. Bye-bye.